What's up everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here on the Poker Staples channel. So we have a very deep run from Powerfest in this video. It's something a little bit different. If you're a No Limit Hold'em player, this is gonna be different from you because it is Omaha High Low. Very interesting game, complex game and hard game. A game that I don't feel particularly strong at, but we have a very strong result. So if you're down to try something new, experience a new game, make sure you stick around. Or if you're an Omaha High Low player, which means probably much better than me at the game, uh, you'll probably enjoy laughing at uh, some of my decisions in this video. So without further ado, enjoy. We're down to the final nine of Powerfest event number 30 high. It's a $109 buy-in, pot limit Omaha, eight or better, six max fast event. And we're down to the final nine. We have Egyptian on our table, which means potential celebrity knockout edition. We've only got one knockout of the man, but that's okay. And uh, we are currently seven of nine with 475 cashed. Here is the full chip stack situation. Okay. And here is the payouts. So 3.8k for the win. So let's see if we can get it. We're gonna kick off in 50 seconds. Now, let's be honest, I don't know very much about this game. <laughs> this is definitely my worst game, PLO8 of the mix. Uh, I'd feel more comfortable playing every other game in the mix. So we're kind of just figuring some things out, you know? I feel like the nice news is that equities run close together, like the percentages of your hands are pretty close, which means I don't think I can make too big of a mistake unless I just fold too much. Then there's big mistakes, but I don't know. I feel all right. I feel okay. And uh, we're in action. Good luck us. I'm going to fold the deuce four, jack eight. This is a high low game. Half the pot to the best high hand, half the pot to the best low hand. Stacks are pretty interesting here in that we're all basically tied between... It's just really not much difference between Egyptian and 8th place. We're all kind of the same-ish stack. So that'll make an interesting march to the final table, you could say. I'm going to fold the 8-4-4 four, four, deuce. Ace-5, Queen-9. I think limp calling is good here. It's good enough hand with the nut suit ace on the button. Two wheels, two broadways to play. But I don't really want to raise, have to call off all in. So I'm just going to limp. We'll call a raise. And if we go to a flop, we go to a flop. It's all right. And we do get raised to 140. Okay. So we call. Now hit us here on the flop. Hit us with a, a deuce, three, four, all hearts. Instead, we're hit with an eight, six, five, all diamonds, which means we have a high hand of a pair of fives. We have a low hand of no low yet. And against a pot size bet, it's a clear fold. Next one. Okay. We have a hand. We're just going to go for effectively the jam here, I think. I don't think we want to go for the limp. We could go for a limp jam, or we could go for a limp call and play flops. But I feel like it's fine to do this, especially when some people are going to fold pre-flop sometimes. And we're just going to pick up, you know, 80,000. That's cool. But let's see what Afonso Henrique wants to do. They want to gamble. Here we go, chat. King, King, 6-4. Come on. Yes. That's a straight, you guys. We're up to 748k. That's huge. Oh, we get very lucky against the Kings on the high. I mean, we had a better low, obviously. I couldn't tell you what the percentage is on that. It's got to be close. They were obviously ahead on the turn. We needed a jack for a straight, an ace to make a better... High hand or three, five, six, eight to make a low. So really a lot of the deck. Gonna get us some of that pot, but Jack is one of the only scoops there. Jack or ace, pretty legit. Whoa. Now we go for a limp jam. So we're down to six. This is a new best finish for us. And we are at the unofficial final table. So I think this counts on our achievement page as a final table because it's just gonna combine after they finish on this other table, but I mean, we have a hand where we were hoping for a limp jam. There it is. <laughs> Final table. Hype of the Power Fest 30 high, you guys. We're coming into the FT. Five of six with $626 cash, but it is 3.8K for the win. So let's see if we can get it done. We're going to fold the lead here. Egyptian's going to limp. Do we limp along for 25K? I feel like getting six to one, we do. Our hand's really bad, but I think it's okay to limp along. We just don't want to get trapped here, where it's like, we have an open-ender. Uh, cool. 
But an eight brings in a low draw. Any heart brings in a flush. A king is cool, uh, but then they could still be drawing to the hearts. So yeah, I'm just gonna play this one pretty snug. Deuce in the turn, doesn't do anything for us. It brings in a low draw, and we see a bet from Require Jun KG, and we'll fold. Feel like I'm gonna be here for your first Power Fest title. Take it down, man, good luck, good luck. Thank you, dude. I hope so. I mean, we have a big deficit to overcome in that I don't know this game very well, but we're gonna try. So we limp, get a call, call, and we have a 6-4-3 with some clubs. I think bet small here to clean up some equity with the nut low is okay. We don't want to see an ace or a deuce on the turn, obviously. Sharky, drop a 510 bits. Thank you very much, Sharky. Appreciate that. Get some hearts out in the chat. Time, Matty bets. Now, I think we go for the jam because we can get our opponents to fold draws now. Like, we can get them to fold nut flush draw without anything else going because there's only 40k back and there's no bounties. So we don't have anything for high. We just have the low. And we could get, like, quartered here. Oh, no, but they both get it in. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We get half chat. Unbelievable. We got a million. Oh, my goodness. What happened there? All right, let's take a look. Okay. So we shove it in with the nut low. Again, thinking that we can get our opponents to fold, like, draws. And then... Require Jun goes for the rejam, and this is with four six two pair and the nut flush draw and the ace five low. So the second nut low, the nut flush draw, and two pair. And then SPR currently had the bottom end of the straight and the club draw and the third nut low and a redraw to a higher straight. No, 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 not that part. So basically, they had second nut, second nut, and a redraw. They had nut draw, second nut low, and a redraw to the nuts. And then we had the nut low, and, and they bust to the flush on the river, and we win the low with ace deuce, which was good all along. And now we put ourselves in a dumb spot, because we have an open ender and a bad low draw. Yeah, I guess we'll fold to the pot size bet. I'm really not sure. And we have four cards, and the odds are good, but then... We don't want to fold too much in the flop, too. Um, we're going to pot it here. So there's a lot of situations in this game where you might have a, the best hand on one half for sure, and you can try and get your opponent to fold, you know, an average hand for the other half. And then there's spots where you can screw yourself, and you can have the best hand for one half, but they also have the best hand for one half. And you win a quarter, but they beat you on the other side, like the high, right? You see that a lot with ace-deuce. Egyptian's going to stop and go here. Flop in the top pair. We will call against King King 10-9. GG to Egyptian, guys. GG on the final table. <laughs> Celebrity knockout on Egyptian. GG, dude. King 10-9-3. Going to update that on the trophy cabinet here. We're going to have that fresh two coming in tomorrow. 12.83 cashed. Third place gets 18-12 now, but we are in last currently. We have a pair of sevens and a bad low, but the thing is, blind versus blind, I feel like we have enough equity to call here. Oh, give us a six, bro, for the straight, man. Not the top end. Now we have a decision to make. Because we have a pair of sevens for high. For low, we have eight, seven, five, three, deuce. So if our opponent has 6-4, we're losing on both sides. But we do have a higher draw here as well. Are we going to be able to win both sides of this? Not very often. Okay. I'm going to limp ace-4, jack-9. Suited to the jack. This hand is not amazing, but I feel like we get to play. Especially in position on these two, it's cool. Now we flop a flush draw and an okay low. <laughs> okay low, okay flush draw. But deuce-3 beats us. Ace deuce, ace three beat us. That gives us a gutter. Nice. Now we have the second nut low. We don't have anything for high. Do we want to bluff him off half the pot here? No. Check it down. They're going to win the high with a pair of tens. And we win the low. Ace three, six, six, nut suit. This is the one for us. Let's get the double up here. Come on, chat. Spades. 
Okay, threes. Boom. That's a double up. A million chips. We're back to a million chips with that double up chat. Come on. Jack, Jack, deuce five. I don't think very good. Ace, queen, jack, nine. This is a high only hand, but it's pretty good though too. So I guess we limp call and try and hit a piece. Yeah. I mean, we check all here with the two pair. Queen 10 beats us, but we're probably ahead. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, that's lucky. 1.6 million. Come on, chat. Lucky us. All right. Ace king 8 10. Again, pretty high only hand here. We're very tied. That's a bad flop. And we'll fold. Ace 4 6 10 with a suit. I'm going to limp. Happy to play this one. And interesting flop. We flop the third nut low draw. Pair of sixes. Turn brings in a straight draw. And then on the river, it's a deuce. We have the second nut low draw, but I don't think it's worth betting. Our high is only a pair of sixes. Um, so we check it down. Going to limp ace, deuce, 10, 9. This is the nut low draw. The 10 and the 9 aren't amazing, but that's okay. We call on the flop to the turn. I'm all in with the nut nut. Boom, 2.6 million. All right, we're three handed. 18, 12, $1,812 locked up. This hand is much better than the average min raise here, but we are out of position. So I'm gonna call. We have the second nut low. Not a lot going for high, but worth calling 140. Checking the turn. And check on the river. Okay, chop it up. Chop it up with the low, that's fine. Nut suit ace with a five, we'll call. And we flop top pair. Uh, what is it, third nut low draw, now this second nut low, and it was a backdoor as well. I think check call out of position is fine with their top pair, which is good sometimes, and that low draw. They bit 510, which is really big, but still a call to the river. Yikes. <laughs> Tough river, because we have a pair of queens, and there's no low. Uh, spades beat us, full houses beat us, which is very reasonable for them potting the turn to have like a strong two pair and stuff, so I think folding is good here. Get raised to 250 here, okay. Limp call, although we could go for the limp jam, but I think limp call is fine. Now this one is gonna be a limp jam because we have the second nut low and the nut flush draw. So good luck us. We have a better low. We have the nut low and the nut high. Come on chat, three million, we're back in the lead. Woo! Let's go. All right, we're gonna fold that. So when we got it in, they had deuce three for the low draw. Ace three is better. And then they had deuce four for the spade draw. We had the nut one, but they had a straight. Six, three for a straight. So they were winning for the high when we got it in, but we had a redraw and we were winning for the low. There you go. Check back here with a queen seven, five, three. Fold. Limp, don't want to get rejammed on by fun bet, so we'll limp and then call or raise. I guess call, like, I don't know what flops we could get away from, really. Even this one, I don't think we can get away from. But if a pair of fives for high, we have the best low or best high, yeah. With the sixes, we didn't have the best low. What was the best low? A seven. So seven, six, five, deuce, ace was the best low. And then we had the best high with the sixes, but uh, looks like a nine was a clean out for the win there. Four, five, eight, seven. So they pot it, but I think we have the right price here, especially with them not being super deep. Now what the heck do I do? Now what do I do, chat? I have a pair of sevens. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, God. I have a seven and a gutter and a backdoor bad low draw. And we're getting three to one. I fold, I guess. Deuce three, king seven, double suited. We'll play. Raise, we'll call. Hit me. Pair of threes. Oh, no. Pair of threes, bad low draw. Backdoor, bad flush draw. Mm. And it's 850 to win 1.9. We need like 28% equity, bro. We must have it here. Mm, flush. I don't know if that was right. They had the nut low draw. They had a pair of eights for high as well. So we needed to hit a seven or a king or like an ace. Like runner, runner straight would sometimes give us the best low as well. But I'm not sure. 
And I'm not sure what to do here either. We flop a bottom pair of twos with a bad backdoor low draw. I think we fooled. But this one, I'm really not sure what to do. Hopefully these two get involved in a pot. Or we can spin this back up. We need a couple doubles in a row. Three or so. Okay. Good start. Ace, ace, nine, four. It's the king, eight, six, five. Chop it up. They have a better low. We have the better high. Four, four, ten, king. All right. Here we go. Set of fours, hold it. No, they have a better low. Chop it up. Oh, we didn't have a low draw there. But. Deuce five, queen, jack. Again, priced in here. Call, call. Pair of queens and a bad flush draw. Ten of the turn. Hearts win. GG, guys. We're going to get third for 18-12. That is the end of the PLO8. Tough one there. I really don't know a lot of those decisions towards the end of the tournament. Um, and yeah, just not a game I'm very experienced in. But third place will absolutely take it for 1800 Thank you guys so much for watching. I think all things considered, with my experience in this game, I mean, I was pretty much just relying on, I know the rules of the game. I know some basic strategy, like getting your opponent to fold half is cool. Um, you know, to get this finish is like, I'm pretty happy with that. So this was actually my first final table of Power Fest. Um, you know, my first top three, and it was a good time, so... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a subscribe in the channel. We're going to be back to No Limit Hold'em videos soon, I promise. But until next time, we'll see you later.